Merry Christmas, everyone. Ho, ho, ho. Last Christmas, I gave you my heart, but the very next day, you gave it away. This year, to set me from tears, I'll give it to someone special. Welcome back or welcome to our channel. So today I'm going to make this intro short and happy. I'm doing a rap with me Q&A. So I headed over to Instagram the other day and asked you guys to ask me some questions and I'm going to answer them while wrapping Oscar's Christmas presents. So I have wrapping paper with me. I've got Oscar's Christmas Eve box down here. I've got a variety of presents and I'm just going to sit here, wrap them. You know what? You can even wrap some presents yourself. Why not? And I'm just going to go onto Instagram and answer the questions that you guys have asked me. I have not been on my Instagram yet, so I do not know what you guys have asked me. Right, let's get started. So, so the first question is, do you think you'll ever go back to college? Let's just start off right with that question. Um, I don't know. Honestly, I don't... When I went to college, I didn't feel like it was for me. I just wasn't getting on. School has always been quite a priority in my life. So, like, I've always tried my hardest with school. But when I went to college, I just couldn't focus. It just didn't feel like for me. Like, A-levels, because obviously I was doing A-levels. A-levels are very different to GCSEs. I just don't think college was for me. I don't think school is for me, personally, very much at the moment. Like, I'm much more of a hands-on person at the moment. Like, I like to do it all myself. And things like that. Like, I don't want to sit behind a desk and just learn something like I want to be involved basically what I'm trying to say is school bored me so much and I just didn't feel like I fit in I didn't get half the work so to answer the question um I genuinely don't know it just depends on where my life heads in the next six to nine months if like my youtube channel and things like that grow a bit more and it's more of a stable income then I might possibly not go back to college and I might just look at doing like a college course like a six month college course and just do a couple of them just so that I'm still kind of like learning like I'm still going to be teaching myself the subject knowledge and like I don't know I'll just see where it goes but I am still planning to go back to college but whether I do or not is a complete different subject right where's my phone next question what's Oscar's middle name does he have one he does his middle name is Brooke so his full name is Oscar Brooke George I don't know why Where's my sellotape? Found it. Um, there's not really much of a special meaning towards the name. It's just kind of fitted and it was just the first thing that me and Zach thought of. When we decided that Oscar was going to be his first name, that was kind of the second name that came into our mind. Right, the next question. I haven't even got round to wrapping one present yet. Right. When are you thinking of having more kids? So basically, life plan, quick update. I'm going to do a whole video on like, oh my present just unwrapped. Um, I'm going to do a whole video of like what my life plans are, like my life goals, my life ambitions, goals for 2021. Stuff like that, things that will be included in that kind of video. But like just as a rough idea, I'm planning to move out the end of next year. So like November, December next year or January 2022. So beginning of the year after. And then once we're all settled in the house and everything, that's when me and Zach are thinking of maybe having another one. Because then it will be all our responsibility and no one can kind of tell us what to do. And it's just going to be a lot more easier to wait until we move out for another kid. To be honest, if I had a house now, I would have a kid now. Like, I would have another kid with Oscar being the age he is. I would for sure have another one because I want kids to be close in age. But the only thing is, me and Zach cannot have another child. Well, I mean, we can, but, like, we can't have another child in this house kind of thing. Because it's unfair for my mum because it's not my house. Like, it's just unfair. So I don't, I don't want to have another kid while I'm living here. And I don't want to... I don't want to be cramped up in a room and have like, it's just not going to work if that happens. We are planning to get pregnant. I want to say roughly March, April 2022. So about a year and three months. That's when we're planning on having another kid. Nothing is set. That might not even happen. It's just kind of like what we're talking about at the moment in terms of plans for that. I need to figure out how to wrap this blanket and find another question. So someone asked, when did you tell your brothers and sisters you were having a baby? So I kind of told them, like, all my siblings are quite young. Like, I literally have one brother who is 15, almost 16. And then all my other siblings are under six. So they don't really understand the concept of it. And especially when I was pregnant, they were like five, four and okay. one. Callum is currently in my room, he's playing among us. But they didn't really understand the first time I told them. Like, once I said, like, right, I'm pregnant, they obviously didn't understand the concept being pregnant means you having a baby. And they didn't really understand what a new baby would mean into the family. 
But I want to say after about five months of me being pregnant and talking to them and showing them like what a baby is and like started to collect all the clothes and things like that they all really really came along like so much and they were like they were picking up clothes for him they were picking up toys for him they were really really helping out of everything they can do but they didn't understand it at first but then once they started to understand it and they started to say his name and everything kind of started coming together they were really really happy like that they that we were having another baby into the family i'm not gonna lie i forgot what the actual question was when did you tell them oh i told them when i was probably around 10 weeks gone but they didn't really understand anything until about five months in so they kind of just knew that i was pregnant for like two months and then finally understood what i meant after then next question was your pregnancy a struggle it actually wasn't i got so so lucky i've cut this too short that's annoying but I was actually really, really lucky with my pregnancy. I didn't get morning sickness. The only bit that was difficult in my pregnancy was probably the last couple of weeks. That's when it got really hard, when it got hard to do things. And that's when I got a lot of Braxton Hicks. It's like a fact, like I don't know what to call it. It's not like an actual fact, but it's like known that if you have a lot of heartburn during the course of your pregnancy, your baby is more likely to be born with like a lot of hair. And I, I suffered from really, really bad heartburn all my pregnancy. But then when Oscar was born, he had so much hair on him so i assumed it was because he was having a lot of hair on him i don't really know but my pregnancy was really really easy with the first and second trimester but then the third trimester was honestly such a hard thing to go through like even just getting up and walking to the shop was difficult like it just wasn't it just wasn't good <laughs> did you have a gender reveal to find out the gender or did you just find out I actually just unfortunately found out. I did want to do a massive gender reveal and everything, but me and Zach kind of already knew it was a boy because we saw something from the previous scan, so we kind of had a feeling that it was a boy. So we didn't really think a party would be necessary because we wouldn't be half as, like, shot. And I did want to do a gender reveal, but we didn't end up doing one just because we thought it would be too much hassle to plan and everything, and we already had so much going on because we were in year 11. So we had our mocks to focus on, and it just, it just wasn't a good good time to have a party kind of thing so we didn't have a party and we, i didn't have a baby shower either which i am actually really sad about but hey ho what is your favorite shop for baby clothes i'm loving zara h&m asda and sainsbury's they're my four top pick for baby clothes at the moment they honestly have such good baby clothes at the moment and such good quality as well like, i love their clothes if you haven't seen my massive baby haul clothing haul then i'll link it down in the description if i remember and i literally spent like 150 pounds on both zara and h&m and i got so much for my money and they're all so good quality and basically at the end of the day i love zara and h&m <laughs> What is the biggest misconception about being a teen mum that you've noticed? Honestly, the biggest misconception is you can't afford your kid or you live off of benefits or your parents buy everything for your kid. Honestly, money is the biggest thing about being a teen mum that most people get wrong. I know a lot of teen mums that don't have a YouTube channel or that do have a YouTube channel and they're doing really, really well just by themselves without their parents' like input for anything to do with their child. And they're doing so well raising them with their finances. So honestly, the majority of teen mums get on very well without using any of their parents' money. But for some reason, everybody thinks that's what we do. What's your opinion on trying for a child at your age? Right, I feel like, again, again, my opinion, okay? Personally, I don't think it's the best thing to do to try for a kid. The only reason this is because is it does stop you doing a lot of things when you're older. Like, not when you're older, but I mean, like, it will it will have an input in your life, obviously. It will stop you doing some things. But personally, I don't think it is the best idea to try for a kid at this age or a similar age to me. As in, when I say similar age, I mean more younger. Um, I just don't think it's the best idea. I think it's a good idea to focus on your studies, focus on getting a car, getting a house, getting in a relationship, getting a job. Once you've maintained all of them, then to try for a kid. It just means you get to enjoy your life to a whole nother level that, that teen mums or teen dads, i.e. me, won't be able to enjoy. So I would personally say to wait, but that's my, that's my opinion. Obviously, I'm not saying that you have to, like... 
I don't know. What age gap do you want between kids and any names? So I preferably want a two year age gap between Oscar and the next one or like a year and a half. And then I want about a four year age gap between the second child and the third child. And then probably a year between the third and the fourth. And that's kind of what I'm thinking. And then names. The names that I love at the moment are Lucas, Esme and River. They're the names I like at the moment. So two girls and two boys, obviously because of Oscar. So that's why I said two boys. But obviously I don't know whether I'm gonna end up with girls or boys or anything like that. That's just kind of like my name suggestions at the moment. They're probably gonna change. I'm probably not gonna wanna have those names when I actually have my children, but they're the names I'm really liking at the moment. Do you like conspiracy theories? I absolutely love them. I love conspiracy theories. The only thing is sometimes they scare me and they freak me out and then I have really bad nightmares for like the next week and it's just not a good thing. So I tend not to like read or watch any conspiracy theories because they just mess my brain up like mad. But other than that, I do really, really like them, which is confusing, but hey ho. Christmas presents are so difficult to wrap. Oh my gosh, I'm having to put marks and everything. Right, next question. If you didn't have Oscar, do you think you'd still be with Zach? No, genuine, on an, on, like honestly, if I, if I didn't have a child with Zach and the same kind of situation happened but we didn't have Oscar in the mix, being honest, no, I wouldn't have got back with Zach. But I did it, I did it for both myself and Oscar. But to answer that question, no. What was the question? It doesn't matter. I'll just watch the video then. No, you won't. <laughs> yes, I will. No, you won't. <laughs> yeah. You didn't think about that one there, did you? <laughs> I forgot I had a YouTube no. channel. <laughs> <laughs> What do you want to achieve in life? What do you think I want to achieve in life? What well, do I? I, th I think you won't be happy until you have got me, Ozzy, <laughs> three woofers. Number two. Number two, three woofers, more guinea pigs, and a big house. That'll that'll be you sorted. So is that my my life ambitions? No. What do I want to achieve in life? I want to make a difference. You want to make a difference? What I mean by that, what we were talking about the other day about Make-A-Wish. How yes. like, yeah. me, yes, the other day me and Zach were talking about like the Make-A-Wish program and we were saying like how much of an amazing thing it would be to like be a wish that someone would say like, oh my, my wish is to meet Kira. I just want to make a difference that I make people happy. I make people realise that life isn't all as it seems. No. How long have you known Zach for? <laughs> Three years. Three years. Just over three years. Just over just three over years. Three yeah. years and two months. Three years, two months, yeah. Three years, two months. What are you most excited about for Christmas? Spending it with you and Ozzy. <laughs> it was Christmas plans. Hmm? Basically, to stuff our face with chocolate. <laughs> <laughs> Watch loads of soppy Christmas movies. Definitely. And sing loads of... The Christmas song. Yeah. <laughs> and take loads of pictures of Ozzy, which he hates us doing. <laughs> and give loads of cuddles to Ozzy and loads of cuddles to all my guinea pigs. <laughs> your guinea pig family. My guinea pig tribe. <laughs> What's your favourite thing about being a dad? Just like knowing that I've always, I'm always going to have you two. Do you know what I mean? Like you've yeah. got a fam you've always yeah. got people to fall I've back on. I've always got you as my family. Like yeah. And Ozzy. And I love Oscar with all my heart, obviously. Me too. And I love you with all my heart. Is he still asleep? Yeah, he's still passed out in Liam's bed. He looks really cosy. He's really passed out in Liam's bed. He looks bed. really cosy. I'll, I'll insert I'll, footage I'll now go, of I'll, how cute he looks. I'll go and check on him again. Can you take a video? Yeah. So I can insert it, thanks. <laughs> I'm so sorry if you hear my guinea pigs in the background. Obviously the cage is in my room and you can hear them, so I'm really sorry. Loads of people are asking like what I use to edit. I use at the moment Final Cut Pro, but I used to use iMovie and Final Cut Pro is £300 and iMovie is free on all Apple devices, so I used to use iMovie and it was so simple. And then also on the back of that, someone's asked what camera I use. So for vlogging, I use the Canon G7X Mark II, and then for sit-down videos like this, I use the Canon EOS 250D. Apart from Patch in the future, are you thinking about getting more pets? So, when I actually put this on Instagram, I didn't have two other guinea pigs, but now I have two other guinea pigs, so now I have three guinea pigs and Aussie, and Patch is currently puddled. Oh, well trust, trust him to literally get up as soon as I move the camera. 
they're all down on the bottom floor having fun. Oh, there he is. He's puddled again. Oh, now he's moving. Oh, we can't make his mind up. But yeah, I want three dogs. We want three huskies. I, I love dogs. Dogs are honestly like my... I love dogs. Dogs get on so well with me, I think. So I want three huskies because huskies are my favourite breed of dog. And my dog at the moment is a German Shepherd cross husky. But she looks like a Labrador because in the German Shepherd is, is Labrador. And Brandy was one of the Labrador kind of puppies. I don't know. She was one of two if I remember. But yeah, I want three dogs. I probably will get another couple of guinea pigs when we move out. I'm not going to lie. Like when we have a much bigger cage. Like, I know the cage is big, but I still want to get a much, much bigger cage. When we move out and get a bigger cage for them, that's when I'll be looking at getting more guinea pigs and pets for that matter. I have literally wrapped five presents in the time that I filmed this video. This is appalling. If you could go anywhere in the world, where would you go? I would either go to Florida because of Disneyland, or I'd go to Paris because of Disneyland, or I want to go Hawaii or Bahamas. I don't know why, but that's they're the places I want to go, so... Yeah, <laughs> I've just wrapped this present up in the wrong wrapping paper. Right, I'm gonna have to put that wrap that. Oh, that's so annoying. How, why have I managed to do that? On that note, I'm gonna end this video here because I'm getting quite tired and Zach has abandoned me. He's not came back. I did wanna ask him a couple more questions, but he's not here to answer them because he's gone to check up on Ozzy, even though he's been about 10 minutes. But you know what? We're gonna vibe with it anyways. So thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this little wrap with me Q&A kind of thing. If you did enjoy this video, then make sure you give it a big thumbs up. But yeah, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed today's video. I hope you had an amazing day and I will see you all tomorrow for another exciting video. Bye! Do you want me to disappear for 10 minutes? Um... I can easily do that. I've been filming. And this Christmas tree is stabbing me in the back. Do you know how you say... You know how people are like, Oh, friends stab you in the back. No, my Christmas tree stabs me in the back. Oh, Jesus Christ. What? <laughs> Your Christmas tree stabs you in the back. Yeah. That's and in it. the arm! Um, uh, no, in case you can't tell, I love this girl with all my heart. She is literally in my world. You're my family. You're the mother to Ozzy. And I want to stay with you for the rest of my life. I think you're absolutely perfect. <laughs> Look what you made me do! Oh my god. <laughs> see, see, right, this is, this is, yeah, this is, this is like the bloopers of your video here, basically. Literally. Look at, oh, there's me being cute saying how much I love you and everything. And then you say, look at what you made me do with your jagged cutting. It's not even jagged. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I thought you were saying about... Right, that. And that's it for the Kira George show. <laughs> Carry on. <laughs> A bash to the head. <laughs> There we go, we're back. Right, <laughs> we pretend it. you've fallen over again. <laughs> Replay. <laughs> You're That's... on the wrapping paper. <laughs> the Christmas tree. I was actually falling. Yeah. Oh, Jesus. Oh, my God. <laughs>